All right, so let's talk a little bit about you and rollover in this video. So first off, I want to take note, I want to make sure you guys see the version of Solidity, the compiler version I'm using here. Right now it's 0.7.0 from here. We have a UN8 setup, which is uh, public, num1 equals 245. And then I have a function here that add 5 to this number every single time I call that function, okay? So let's go ahead and deploy this from here. I drop this down here. If we look up num1, it's 245, like we would expect here. If I add, and that says add 1, I should really say add 5, huh? It's kind of funny. Add 5. Save. Trash it once. Try again here. Deploy. Num1, 245. 250, right? That's to be expected. 255 here. Now, if I call this again here, what do you think is going to happen? If I hit this button from here, well, keep in mind that since it's an 8-bit number, the highest it can go is 255, right? That's the highest value it can hold. But we see we get a successful transaction. So what's our number at right now? Well, now it's at 4. And what happened was it went up to 255, and that rolled over back to zero. It started at zero, one, two, three, four. So that's something important to keep in mind, right? If you see older versions of contracts right now here in less than version, well, let me show you right now. If I switch to version eight, I save this from here, go ahead and trash this one, deploy, and num1, 245, that like we would expect here, 250, 255 here, now it's gonna happen. What's gonna happen if I call this again here? Take a guess. I have an error, right? So. If you're working with older versions of Solidity here, or excuse me, older versions of Solidity with older compilers, you might see some type of function to prevent against rollovers. Or so you might see some type of protection against the rollovers in older versions of contracts, and that's why that is here. So older versions of the compiler didn't protect against rollover here. The newer versions do. So that's something important to keep in mind, not only for, well, number one here, that's why we have to declare what version of the compiler that we want to use here, but it's also important to keep that in mind here if you're looking through older contracts, trying to stand by, maybe somebody did something this way or watching an older video, of, um, you know. Um, so just keep that in mind here. If you guys learned something, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. If you guys really enjoyed, I do have some Udemy courses. Be sure to check out some of my other videos too on Solidity, and I will see you guys in the next one.